Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of A Taste of the Food Life. Thank you for joining me here once again as I continue my food tasting journey outside. Outside. This, this is, is our first, first outdoor episode. Uh, we are here in, uh, well, I was gonna say Austin, but it's more like- Round Rock. Yeah, Round, Round Rock, Rock, Texas. Uh, a place I'm fond of. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is where you and I met, actually. Yes, it is. Uh, Rock and City Roller Derby. Shout out. I don't know what this was, but shout out. And uh, yeah, so uh, we are here because we're gonna do another Can I Be a Scoville on episode, actually a very special episode because we are about to uh, try some products that I have been dying to try for a long time. Um, uh, so Susan, uh, I'll start by saying that you are the reason that this episode is about to happen. It's true. So there was a day that um, Sergio mentioned that he wanted to try these hot sauces and I was like, hmm. So I went ahead and uh, picked them up and sent them over to you. And, and I, to be fair, I should say that the reason I hadn't picked them up myself is because I'm cheap. Uh, this brand uh, tends to be kind of costly. And uh, as a gift, uh, Susan, thank you for bringing the dream to a reality as we are about to try Truff hot sauces. Uh, these you, I saw these ads for Truff all over social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and so forth and have been curious from the beginning. They have some of the most clever, clever advertising and uh, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was always sort of turned off by the price. Uh, maybe turned off is too strong a term. But here we are. And so Susan, again, thank you for uh, making this happen. You're welcome. As we are about to try the original truff hot sauce. Uh, these sauces are infused with black truffle, which is not an easy ingredient to come by nope. if you're using it um, for food purposes. Um, and so that's what makes these unique. Uh, the second one is sort of a hotter version of the truff sauce, uh, but it has the same black truffle. And uh, as is described by the truff folks, the finest red chili peppers uh, infused with black winter truffle. And the third item we're gonna try is their very special uh, white truffle based sauce that you see right here. And they have their signature cap, that unique, uh, as I was saying earlier, probably the closest that I'll ever get to a truffle having purchased it on my own, uh, which I didn't even do that with these. No. So, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna try them out and see what we think. And what we have to try them on are flautas. Flautas are awesome. Yes. We've done tacos before. Yep. What More else have we? Chips. Yeah. Lots of chips. Yeah. Chips. Mainly chips. You need something a little special for this. It's not just, <laughs> you know. Food truck flautas Can't is the way that. to go. Uh, food truck flautas from just up the street, a little truck called Taco's Kitchen. And um, yeah, we got some weird looks when we ordered just flautas and nothing else, but that's all right. We explained what it was for and they still gave us weird looks. But here we are. Here we are. So let's say we just jump in and give it a go. Let's jump in. All right. So we've already taken the plastic wrap off just to save time in terms of the video, so. So we'll start with the original and please do the honors of, of starting first. I'm just gonna put it like right, we split some of them in half, so. It's a beautiful color. Oh, it is. It smells really good, I'll let you. And I'll do the oh, same. It smells so good. And I, I have a feeling we're going into this knowing that this is not gonna necessarily be about heat as much as it is about flavor. So, cheers. Cheers. Thank you again. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It's like sweet mm -hmm. and rich mm -hmm. is the best way to describe it. It's so good. It He's really is. <laughs> He's putting more on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's delicious. You got the side of the bottle. It does have a little bit of, bit of a kick. It's not crazy spicy, but... It's really good flavor. Like, it is sweet and creamy without having milk, milk in it at all. Right. By the way, if you see me sweating, it's not the hot sauce, it's that we're outside. And I'm quickly realizing this is probably not the best idea, but it's a beautiful day out. It is, it's beautiful so out here. why not? All right, item number two is the hotter sauce, as it says on the label. So here we go, let's see. That had a really nice kick. It was flavorful, but the heat level was there. I cleared my palate with some. Oh yeah. Got a cleary palate. 
Mike's eating Coke. Is that hot? It's the only way you can do it when you're eating flautas and having hot sauce. Absolutely. So, if you would, you first. Put a healthy little dollop on there. There you go. Healthy little dollop. Oh. Healthy, healthier little dollop. I'm just trying to not make a mess. Mmm. Mmm. That flavor hit right away. It's fantastic. And it's got this, that's still got that sweetness. It's got a little bit more of a kick to it. Mmm. It's really good. Mm-hmm. The heat does get you, at least for me, in the back of the tongue. Mm-hmm. Back of the tongue. But the flavor. Oh, it's so good. It's, it's so good, so good. I would just drink it if I could. <laughs> that would be not a good idea. <laughs> Finally, we have the white truffle oil, hot sauce. This is, again, the same red chili peppers, and it's infused with white truffle oil, which I don't know anything, or I should say enough, about white truffles to know. I think they're costlier. Yeah. Are they? Okay. To get a hold of. And so here we are. Um, someday on this show, I'll be able to afford to bring real truffles, but if you would, please. Mm -hmm. Serve yourself first, and then I will follow. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Has the same kind of smell to it. I love the the consistency of it. The it's yeah. Oh man, that one's even sweeter. Oh, that's rich. It's so good. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. You guys should. So wonderful. And it like coats your whole mouth, but like in a good way, not in like a, I need to peel the inside of my mouth off. <laughs> um, but it's the sweetness and it's the creaminess of it. Mm hmm. It's so good. That is the best. From a flavor standpoint, I would say this has been the best hot sauce episode we've done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That I've been a part of? Absolutely. So look them up. You can find them all over social media. Truff is the brand. And they have three uh, products here of varying sizes. And I will say, um, now that I've had them, well worth the price. Oh, yeah. Well worth the price. Absolutely. When you know the ingredients that go into them and such. And uh, I'm, again, I'm sweating like crazy. Um, but it's the heat outside. In 90 degree weather. <laughs> Outdoors. I'm not always the smartest guy, but I do know food and this is good food. This is good food. Indeed. So Susan, once again, thank you so much for the gift. You're welcome. And thank you for joining me as always on these hot sauce episodes so that I don't suffer alone. Of course. Not That's that this not was suffering. suffering. No. Yeah. Uh -uh. This is, this is living well. <laughs> I know. This I'm about to well. go grab put some more and finish my little wealth this off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you being here. Uh, yeah. If you're with us on YouTube, don't forget, click that subscribe button and uh, that notification bell so you know when episodes land mm -hmm. uh, be on the lookout very soon for a taste of the food life live as we plan to launch that show very very soon yeah and you can find it on uh, both youtube and facebook live as well as other platforms so until then susan yes. thank you so much thank you and on behalf of susan and i we always say you're awesome you're amazing and the world's a better place because you are in it we'll see you next time on a taste of the food life all right, so we should keep. Gimme! <laughs> this is so good.